everybody, welcome back to Whitney Hill Rabbitry. Today we're going to be talking about how to cure sore hocks. So I will insert a picture of what sore hocks looks like, but basically flint has sore hocks, and it's where if they live on wire, they end up rubbing, and which, this is weird because he has never had sore hocks before, and yet he's lived on wire his whole life. So what we think happened is that the wire that we're using is brand new, so it's sharper than the old stuff, and that's why he has sore hocks. And I think it's from recently when I put him in his new hutch, he's run, the, he's run across here a lot, and there used to be only one mat, and so I think that's why. But he's never had sore hocks before, and he's lived on wire his whole life, so I'm not sure why he's getting it now, but he is, so I'm going to show you guys how to cure it. So the first thing I'm going to do to prevent sore hocks is to make sure that he has a resting mat where he normally goes. So like when he runs back and forth across here, he has a resting mat now so he's not rubbing against wire. He also has this water bowl taking up some wire over there and also hay that's going to cover the wire over there. And then he also, he, he doesn't have any wire in his box, it's all wood, so he doesn't, he basically doesn't have any wire space now, so that his stuff, his sores can cure. So what we're doing is we are putting Vetrisid on the sores, and then we are wrapping the foot with gauze and some tape. Now, in a little bit, I will show you what I am doing now, because when we first did this, I used some cheap medical tape, but we actually found something else that will work better and it's just a basically like a vet wrap type wrap that sticks to itself so you only have to use a little bit you just wrap it around and it sticks to itself and it's just not as tight so if he really needs to he can slip it off um, you do have to redo it every day because he does get them off easier but we found that it was better for him than the medical tape so all we're doing is spraying Vetrisin on the sores, wrapping it with gauze, and the, right now the medical tape, but in the future, the self-sticking wrap. And as you can see, Flint does not like it. So it, I would recommend getting a second person to help you. We went through five bandages trying to get this on because Flint did not like it. And he's just the hardest buddy to get things on like his feet or a harness, like he's just the hardest buddy to do this. So just, I would recommend having a second person to help you, one to hold and then one to put the bandage on. This is a picture of the self-sticking wrap that we are using now. It's just a simple wrap that sticks to itself. My mom found it at Rite Aid, so you just have to look around and find what is best. Finally got both bandages on. It took us forever because Flint did not like it and did not want us to put it on. So we went through five failed attempts before we finally got both of them on. And... So what we're going to do is we're just going to treat him for at least five days until it's gone. So if it's not gone within five days, continue doing the treatment. And if it's getting worse, ask a vet for help or a friend who really knows rabbits. And then you can decide what you want to do for future treatment. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I hope you guys learned how to cure sore hawks. Also, I am not a professional. This is just something that I have learned over the years that I've had have rabbits. So please consult a vet if it gets worse or it's not working. And we will see you guys in the next video.